From crust to core, the interior of the Earth is a dynamic system featuring a huge variety in pressure, temperature, and composition. This provides major challenges to those who wish to understand it better. As a geodynamics research center, high-pressure experimental and theoretical scientists work together to reveal the secrets of the deep Earth. Our main purpose is to understand the structure, dynamics, and evolution of the Earth's interior. GRC is part of Ehim University, one of Japan's national universities, and based in Matsuyama, the largest city on Shikoku Island. In 2008, GRC was selected as one of Japan's three centers of excellence in earth sciences. Here at the GRC, we use several types of high-pressure apparatus. The diamond cell squeezes a tiny sample between a pair of diamonds. A laser microbeam is directed to the sample through the diamond producing very high pressure and temperature of the Earth's core. The multi-amber apparatus, which uses a large volume press, provides well-controlled pressures and temperatures in much larger sample volumes under conditions of the lower mantle. GRC has six multi-amber apparatus, including the world's largest. Materials synthesized under high pressure and high temperatures are recovered to ambient condition and analyzed. We use electron microscope, microfocus X-ray diffractometers, and infrared spectroscopes, and more to identify the mineral phases and observe the microstructure and chemical compositions. Two types of electron microscopes, SCM and TEM, are important to investigate the surface and internal structure of the samples. Because of the absolute difficulty of direct visit to the deep Earth interior. Theoretical and computational predictions, confirmations, and interpretations are essential. We have pioneered the use of the ab initio method, founded on the theory of quantum mechanics and condensed matter physics, in particular, the density function theory. Important physical properties, such as thermodynamics, elasticity, and transport property can be determined using this method. Through the combination of GRC's experimental studies, cutting-edge facilities, and theoretical skills, we are able to journey to the center of the Earth, from crust to core. We have a large volume press tuned for the deformation of materials under high pressure allowing us to evaluate key properties such as strength and viscosity. Such experimental data can be used to simulate the dynamic behavior of subducting slabs and the mantle. By measuring wave velocities of rock from the mantle in the laboratory, we should in theory be able to reproduce seismic observation across the globe. We investigate the sound velocities of the mineral components of a hypothetical composition like a pyrolite, while varying parameters such as iron, aluminium, and water contents, which are known to affect sound velocities of minerals. We believe that these techniques hold the key to allowing scientists to interpret seismic data and understand the composition and mineralogy of the mantle. Water is transported into the mantle by hydrous mineral in subducting cold slabs. I used computational simulation based on ab initio quantum physics to predict the crystal structure of water-bearing minerals and their stability under the conditions of mantle transition region and the lower mantle. This confirms that wazelite and ringotite can indeed accommodate up to about 3 weight percent H2O, suggesting that mantle transition region is a huge water reservoir containing five times as much water as, as the oceans. Incorporating the nature of convection flow within the mantle, we numerically solve basic equations for fluid dynamics in the mantle. From these calculations, I found that some slabs can sink directly into the lower mantle, while some cannot and are stagnated above the lower mantle. Variety of slab behaviors comes from the difference in physical properties. 
By computing seismic wave speeds propagating deep earth materials, we can interpret such indirect observations. Then, we can estimate geophysical causes of seismic anomalies. Also, we can model the chemical composition of the deep earth interior. Our simulations indicated that bridge marine, the most abundant mineral in the lower mantle, transformed to the post perovskite phase at around 120 gigapascals and 2500 kelvins. This suggests that the whole mantle convect globally. The experimental and theoretical capabilities of GRC allow us to go beyond the Earth. We have recently started looking at the phase transitions and associated physical property changes inside the outer permanence of solar system, as well as inside some super-Earth. By using Hime Diamond, our unique nano-polycrystalline diamond, we may realize pressures beyond 1,000 gigapascals in the near future, which covers the entire region of some of these planets. Our research will have important implications for our understanding of not only our planet, but also the universe.